Once again, I am at the funeral of a close friend. It's at a Mormon church, as you can see. And as usual, I am locked out. You see, I'm not allowed to go onto church properties. I'm not allowed to go into church buildings. I'm not allowed to attend church meetings, and they consider this funeral to be one. And so here I am again, attending the funeral and praying for the people inside and, and locked out. I must do it from the curb. Now, before I get on about this funeral and the man who's being buried today, I want to just give a quick, uh, a quick update on the last funeral. It was for a lady, and up at the cemetery, her son stood at the grave and dedicated the grave. This is a Mormon priesthood ordinance. It's just kind of a strange thing they do. But he said the most fascinating thing. He said he asked God to bless his mother as she begins her work for them on the other side of the veil. Now, this is the strangest thing about the Mormon religion is they must work their way into heaven and even on the other side of death even on the other side of death they must continue to work and work and work and for me it's for me it's tragic now the men who's being buried today is a good friend. Grace and I spent so much time in his home and just enjoyed the company of him and his wife. And as I was reading through his obituary, it's, it's a long one. It just goes on and on and on. And it talks about every accomplishment, everything that he ever did in his life. And there's a big, big extended paragraph that talks about all his service for the church. But see, what's, what's not there is any mention of the God who saves, of his relationship with that God, his love for him. It's all about work and work and work. And it breaks my heart. I love these people. And my heart breaks for them. Now here's, here's the problem that I hope you'll understand. And the problem is that these people, these, these people are going to work so hard to be saved, but they will not, they will not ever know the God they acknowledge. Let me explain. So, they, they're like the people in Matthew 7, and they go before the God that they acknowledge but never knew, and they say, Lord, Lord, didn't we in your name cast out devils? Didn't we in your name do many mighty works? Didn't we in your name do this and this and this and this? And didn't we work and work and work and work? But remember, he is the God they acknowledge, but not the God they know. And because they never knew him, he will say to them, if they die believing in this nonsense, depart, I never knew you. And this breaks my heart.